Hey guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. Continuing exactly from where we left off, we are on the second part of the Chapter 6 class trial. Who is he? Simply put, he's Makoto Naegi. He's known for being a cutie patootie! <laughs> what? I'm not asking you. I'm asking... You insolent fool! If you're saying he's not Makoto, then show me some proof! Are we gonna have a PTA now? You're going down, Monokuma. Fool. If you're saying he's not Makoto, this is the end. Boom. Makoto Naegi. That's who you really are. Then tell me this. Why did you make the password to Nezumi Castle? 11037. Um what was that again? Can't answer. That's weird. Wait, you. Where'd you find that out? Uh, who cares? So, how about it? Can you even answer? Ha! <laughs> because I know who it is in disguise. Man, I've been found out. Come on, reveal <sighs> yourself. Then you're. <laughs> how disappointing! And I thought I was on the right track. Reveal yourself. Come on. He disappeared? Hey! That guy disappeared! Why are you surprised? It's a computer program. So anything's possible, right? Then that was just the work of Monokuma? Aw, you found out I was faking! This is so embarrassing! I just wanna kill myself! Go and do it then! What are you doing? Why'd you show us a fake member of the Future Foundation? That fake was trying to get us out to the real world. Then that's your plan? Is that where your trap is? Man, they saw right through me! I may as well be invisible. A trap? What kind of trap did you set? Hey, if you know what's good for you, you better hurry the hell up and confess. I'll beat you half to death if you tell us now. But if you don't spit it out soon, I'm just gonna kill ya! Just kill him right now! Then this nightmare can finally end! Violence is not allowed! This isn't that kind of game! It's a much smarter game, right? <laughs> what game? This game is already over! This game... is over? No, no, no! I'm not gonna let you finish yet! There's no way this can end before I've even transformed! Tra transform A transformation is customary in a final boss battle, right? 
You know, like that one role-playing game? You know what game I'm talking about. Final... Don't say it! Now then, allow me to show <laughs> you. I'll skip the second and third forms and go straight to... My final form! You better not be bluffing. I'm gonna beat the crap out of you and pull all your stuffing out! There we go, guys! Transform! Super Saiyan mode. <laughs> oh my god! Huge Junko. Everyone's just in pure shock. here but this this is clearly not fucking okay i see so that's your reaction to seeing an extra large high school girl but are they really that big don't you think they're pretty small she, she's huge she's way too huge <laughs> hmm. but the final boss in a certain action game is much bigger you know that game Niperella. She said it anyway. Giant titties! I see, I see. An estimated bus size of 15 meters, huh? My boobs are hopelessly huge. Hey, hey! Want me to squish you in between them? Big boobs feel good, you know. I get fucking crushed! <laughs> If this was a pandering fan service game full of pretty girls, there'd be a CG close up of my cleavage. But. Too bad. This isn't a fan service game. Of course, since it's not an action game either. You won't even get to experience the refreshing sensation of battling an enormous final boss. <laughs> so fucking hopeless! Th this is. Monokuma's true identity? We. We have to deal with this thing? I'm shocked you'd call me this thing. Oh, you're so mean. Hmm. <laughs> um, is it just me, or did her personality change? Yep, welcome to the many personalities of Junko. I get easily bored of my personality. Like, I already got bored of my personality who gets easily bored. And that's when Fuyuhiko would say, It's too damn soon to say you got bored, right? Wait, what? I have plenty of data on you guys, so it's so easy for me to know what you're all thinking. You, you are not bored at all. I got bored of getting bored. Jeez, even when I'm dead, I still get bored. 
Junku! I see! Are you Junko Enoshima? Did you say Junko Enoshima? Isn't she dead? It's true. I did end up dying the last time. Uh, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to go so fast. I, I couldn't help it, you know? It was my first time. Jeez, stupid. You're the one who made me go. And why is someone who died here right now? Do you guys know about an artificial intelligence called Alter Ego? Exuberance! We are now an AI! We have transcended humanity! What AI? Stop saying all this crazy bullshit! You see, my personality is like this because I'm the type who dies easily, right? That's why I made my own AI program while I was still alive. And then someone uploaded me into this Neo World program. And that's how Alter Ego Junko hopelessly appeared in front of you guys. Yep. Don't get cautious and think stuff like, what can we do? I mean, we're all ultimate despair here. Each and every one of our classmates looked at us like we're a bunch of loogies on the side of the road. So, let's all be friends. <laughs> Hell no! Man, they hate me. Yes, we do, funny enough. I was thinking of you guys when I tampered with the graduation program. But they still hate me. Tampered? With the graduation program? Remember what that fake Makoto said earlier? About what happens to you when you graduate, right? I feel like you guys weren't getting a big enough reward for graduating. So, I decided to modify what happens so it's something exciting and unique. Just like a game. Uploading your game memories into your real bodies is fine, but letting your friends stay dead just sucks. That's why I decided to resurrect them. This is the new graduation program I'm offering. Huh. Which of course is gonna be a trap, man. Resurrect? Hey, are, are you serious? Can you really do that? It was like real hard, you know? Whoa, I don't remember that personality being on the first game. The graduation program is the core part of this game, so it was protected with a lot of encrypted codes. It took me a long time. I felt so much despair about how useless I am. Well, one advantage of being an AI is that I got smarter with computers. Before that, every time a computer froze, I used to put it in the microwave and nuke it. Show of hands, class. How long do you think it took for me to modify it? Who cares about that? Are you serious when you say that everyone who died will come back to life? Did you forget? You gotta answer questions to progress the story. That's the rule of this game, right? By the way, I'll give you a clue. You guys were always watching time slip away at a certain place. So you're not gonna tell us until we answer that? Jabberwock Park! The clock at Jabberwock Park! I see! The countdown at Jabberwock Park. That's the only place we can think of. That's the only place we consistently watch that has anything to do with time. Then that countdown represented the time that was needed to modify the program. How brilliant! Absolutely wrong! <laughs> You're totally 
totally wrong about that tricky timer. Wrong? Then what was it? Exactly. Please tell. How should I put this? I was just goofing around. I mean, isn't stuff you don't understand exciting even though you don't get it? It's kind of like superhero cosplayers or someone else's designs of alien life and stuff, right? It, it was just for show? In the end, it was meaningless. Does that fill you with despair? Like getting booted from a game server? You know those murder mysteries where the culprit is really the detective who's investigating the murder? Well, I'm so over predictable crap like that. Just what did you expect at this stage of the game? She's... she's seriously messed up. Yep, I'm right there with you, Kazuichi. Well, in a way, the countdown implied I was on a mission. Did you ever make up your own silly rules, like don't step off the white line when you cross the road? I was testing myself to see if I could get you guys into the graduation program before the timer reached zero. Enough! Please stop! Don't be so disappointed. It's totally true. I had a hard time manipulating the program. While you guys were at the beach making wrinkly dog faces, I was working so hard on my own, you know? Hey, enough of this pointless crap! Are you seriously going to resurrect everyone who died? Like I said, it's easy. It's just a game after all. Yeah, each and everything that happened in this world was just an event within the game. There's no way anything that occurred in the game could affect the real world. What you're saying now is completely different from what you said before. You said whether or not it's a lie, the moment you feel something is real, it becomes real. The game where you throw my words back at me is over, so you don't really have to worry about it. Fine, I won't worry about it. Hey! Who fucking cares about logic? As long as everyone who died comes back to life, that's good enough! But, if we do not understand the principles behind it, then we do not even know if it is really possible. That's right, Anything Sonya. Goes in this world. You've seen that happen so many times already, right? Well, if a high school girl can get huge, then it's not crazy if the dead can come back to life, right? If she's saying that's how she tampered with the computer program, how are we supposed to respond to that? That's right. That's why you should finish this game and go back to living a normal life in the real world. If we go back, what do you get out of it? Hmm? What benefit do you get by making us return to the real world? As long as we don't know what it is. Man, that's so annoying. You're so petty. It's not like you're a housewife living on a tight budget. All I want is to put on this graduation performance in a more dramatic way. Liar. Well, if you doubt me, you don't have to go back. Is that what you want? Not to go back? Well, hold on a sec. We're obviously going to get out of here. If it'll bring our dead friends back, it's all we can do. Of course! We've been working toward that goal for, like, forever! Because we had that goal, we were able to endure those killings. Thus everyone can go back together, so there's no reason to hesitate. You, you are right. There is no way we can choose to stay here after all we've been through. Just as expected from the winners of this killing school trip, your will to live is truly ultimate. Wonderful. That's just more reason for you to execute your role as devices. Okay, now let's stop stalling for time with exposition and hurry up and do it. Now then, why don't you guys just go ahead and answer with the touch panel that's in front of you? I'm gonna do it. I'm seriously gonna do it. If you don't hurry up, I'm seriously really gonna do it. <laughs> you don't have to say, who are you talking to? It doesn't concern a chump like you, Hajime. Ch chump Don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be over once we press this. Oh, come on. Don't be naive. So we just have to press graduate, right? If we do that, we can go home, right? I got it! Don't 
Oh, nice one, Makoto. What the heck? That guy from earlier is back again. It's not again. This time, it's the real one. Real? I'm Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi of the Future Foundation. Awesome. I'm sorry I'm late. I actually wanted to come rescue you sooner, but thanks to the virus infecting the Neo World program, I wasn't able to enter. Just when the chumps are in a pinch, he's suddenly able to enter for reasons unknown. Probably she actually let him in. And thus, the main character gallantly appears. <laughs> Did you also time my arrival? No, it doesn't matter. I'm going to save everyone. And then I'm going to settle this between us once and for all. <laughs> oh man, that's gross. How were you able to get here, Makoto? Since I used my tricks to hack into the program, he must have hacked in with his tricks too, right? That's also how you kept your memories, right? Even though you haven't aged a day, just like these guys. If I hadn't, then I wouldn't have been able to save everyone. Don't you understand? It doesn't matter how you got here. As long as you're here, you'll be treated like one of my students. Which means, you must respect my authority. I already know the risks of being here. Oh, you always had such reckless hope. I love you so much that you disgust me. Hey, just what do you mean by trap? What is Junko's trap? It doesn't matter. We can finally end this, you know? If we get out of here, it'll all resolve itself peacefully. After all this, I can't let you get in the way. The fact that you guys are even thinking like that is Junko's trap. Huh? She's lying to you about your dead friends coming back to life. Hey, little old me. Who do we trust? You knew Junko's true goal. You know she's lying. You know her goal? Yeah. Junko's goal is to convert the Hope Restoration Program to the Despair Restoration Program. Of course, that makes yeah. sense. Despair Restoration Program? As part of the graduation program, your avatar's memory and consciousness is uploaded into your real body. However, None of us expected that any of the avatars would get deleted. Junko has taken advantage of that opportunity. She intends to use her version of Alter Ego, the AI she stole my friend's skill to create, and upload herself into the bodies of everyone whose avatar was deleted. What? Huh. Then oh my god. Everyone who died isn't going to come back to life. No, they're just gonna come back as Junko? They're gonna be taken over by Junko? What the fuck? Exactly for you, Hiko. What the fuck indeed? Like the real world. Once an avatar is deleted from this virtual world, it can't be recovered. It's actually impossible to revive them. That doesn't mean I was lying, you know? I just didn't make some things clear. And, even if they're overwritten by my alter ego, it doesn't mean they'll be a completely different person. The data of everyone who died is stored within me, so I'm sure I can convincingly act out their personalities. Don't mess with me. In fact, I have a lot of data on Fuyuhiko, so I know some things that'll make you happy. I can play a version of Peiko that's more to your liking than she ever was. I said, oh. don't fucking mess with me! <laughs> Operation Junkify All Mankind begins here! After uploading my alter ego into everyone who died, I'm gonna take over the Future Foundation's headquarters. 
And then, eventually, there's gonna be a whole lot of me's all over the world. With this, my despair utopia, where you can despair as you please, Junko Land, will be complete. That's Operation junko Fi All Mankind in a nutshell. Wouldn't that be boring oh, for her, though? Our dreams are expanding. That messed up plan is your goal? Then why didn't you just kill all of us? If you did, you could have taken over all of our bodies. Wouldn't that have been more convenient for you? Is that what you want me to do? Is it still too late to do that? No. There's a reason Junko couldn't do that. That's why she made you guys kill each other. The rules, isn't it? I see. I got it. It's because of the school trip's rules. Even a monster like her has to follow the rules of the school trip? Junko usurped Usami's authority as an observer, and her role as your teacher. However, according to the rules of the school trip, even Usami had to follow up. That's why when Junko took over her position, she had no choice but to follow the rules as well. The lead teacher cannot directly interfere with the students, an exception. Ah, oh, didn't get so, to read it all. The rules were protecting us? Well, we read it all ages ago. Man, I was so annoyed. I had the authority to add rules, but no authority to delete rules. Oh well, even if I could have deleted rules, I was still busy with my whole taking over your bodies plan. So you made us kill each other, because you couldn't kill us yourself. Then, is that how you were able to increase the number of bodies you can take over? Like I said, I personally didn't care about the outcome of the killings. How dare you look down on us? Don't fuck with me. What about our lives? <laughs> Chump change. I... I won't forgive you. I will never, ever fucking forgive you! So that's your trap. You try to make us choose graduate. So you can take over everyone's body with the graduation program. How... how can you be so cruel? Because Junko and Oshima is... the true ultimate despair. She doesn't yearn for any kind of future at all. She fills every person she meets with despair. That's my Makoto. You understand me so well. For me, despair is not a goal or a set of principles, or a lifestyle, or even an instinct. It's what defines me as Junko and Ashima. It's just my characterization. That's why I'm able to pursue despair with such purity. So you're saying you only exist to fill people with despair? That's what she's saying. For example, want to hear about a beautiful memory that even I, who gets bored easily, still remember fondly? Picture thousands of fools who are madly in love with me, dying one by one like insects doused with bug spray. And the best part is, they did it to themselves, you know? Thousands of humans falling like dominoes! Oh, that memory is so beautiful! It made my brain melt! Yeah, about that. Does that story have a happy ending? I see! Are you talking about the reserve course's mass suicide? Oh yeah, I totally forgot you're a survivor of the reserve course. By the way, I'm so sorry for your loss. M mass suicide? What's she talking about? An incident where 2,357 people from the reserve course all killed themselves. Junko probably made them do it. 2,357 people? That's an outrageous number. You don't have to be that surprised. You all look like your parents, friends, and lovers all tied at once. Mm, that was so rude of me. There's no way you guys even have meaningful relationships like that anymore. I mean, you're all ultimate despair. You guys have already eaten your fill of despair. I... I do not really know what you are trying to say. Junko robs the futures of everyone she interacts with. 
You ultimate despairs are among her many victims. If someone like me is born, that means the world is yearning for despair. That's wrong. The world isn't yearning for despair. That's the reason we can't let you escape. But if you do that, you guys won't be able to return to the real world, right? Huh? If we choose graduate to get out of here, the graduation program will act, right? If that happens, Junko's alter ego will be uploaded into the bodies of the dead. Which means we can't graduate. To keep her from getting out? What, what the heck? Why does it have to be like that? It's such a cruel fate for you guys. But it's awfully convenient for the future foundation. They'll be able to keep all the ultimate despairs, including me, trapped in this game forever. Wrong! That's not it! But ultimate despair is hated worldwide, and their lives are no doubt targeted by the future foundation. Oh well, if you don't want to acknowledge that, I guess it just can't be helped. Can't be helped. <laughs> LOL! This is nothing to LOL about! But it's so ironic! You came all the way here just to find out that graduating is the wrong choice! Even though you came all this way to win the game, even though you kept sacrificing your friends to win! <laughs> the goal you guys squirmed to reach was wrong all along! Isn't that just so fucking tragic?! Stop it! Kazuichi's losing it. Don't give up yet. That's there right. Fill us with hope, Makoto. Without letting Junko out. No, no, there's no way such a convenient... There is. Really? Well, that's the first I've heard of it. What was it? It was the shutdown sequence, wasn't it? I see. Are you talking about the shutdown sequence? Shutdown sequence? What is that? It's a hidden command I set up in the Neo World program. H hidden command? Basically. I never believed the Neo World program was a perfect solution. There was always a possibility that Usami's hope might have made things even worse for you guys. So I prepared a way to shut down the program in case of emergencies. As I recall, you said it was a command that not even the teacher can stop. And that means even Junko can't stop it. Exactly. Dear me, I have an unfortunate announcement to make, class. You cannot activate the shutdown. You... you know about it? More importantly, do you know why? Do you know why you can't activate the shutdown? Not enough people... Uh, There we go, not enough people. I see! Because there's not enough people? <clears throat> Pay attention, class. According to my information, in order to initiate the shutdown, out of 15 people, more than half of them must press graduate and repeat at the same time. Am I correct? However, out of 15 people, including Makoto, there are only six people here. Even if you want to cheat, I won't let ya. The shutdown sequence won't activate unless it knows that different people initiated it. So it's totally impossible. You totally saw through that supposedly hidden command? No need to worry. Even I knew we couldn't activate the shutdown. You still came here when you knew we had no chance of winning? It's 
not that we have no chance of winning. The only reason I'm here is because there is a chance. Yes. Why explaining it to us? What is this chance of winning of which you speak? I believe. Oh, uh, I can't hear you. You gotta speak up since you're so puny. I believe in them. I believe they will definitely come. That's not something you need to take your time saying. Oh yes! Everyone's coming! Believe. Try putting yourself in our shoes before you drag us into situations like this. Chiyoko! Byakuya! I knew you guys would come! We'd be better off leaving behind someone who jumps to conclusions without listening to our warnings. Sorry. Even though it took some time for two people to enter the program simultaneously, it appears we made it. Yes, I'm so happy to see Kyoko again. She's my girl. Hey, what's going on? Why are there more people again? How exciting! I haven't seen these faces in ages. It's like opening your high school yearbook ten years later. I must say, now that I'm seeing her up close, she's much bigger than I remembered. What? What kind of man isn't excited by big women? Once you gain some more experience, you'll understand. There's a lot of kinky things you can do with big girls. Shut up. <laughs> Ryakuya, you're alive. But you're so skinny now. I feel so bad for you. You shut up too. <laughs> um, are you two also from the Future Foundation? No, it's probably not just that. The six of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed with our ideals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy you survived and helped you recover your memories. You guys are the survivors of the killing school life who previously defeated Junko, right? Yeah, that's right. Th there's three of them here now? The former heroes plunging themselves into the game world, ignoring all danger. Jeez, stupid! Making such a suicidal move! Did you really want to see me that badly? It can't be helped. In order to stop you, that suicidal move was our only choice. So how about it? There are eight people now. We have enough to activate the shutdown sequence. Oh god. Why are you crying? <laughs> you guys showed up looking all cool and stuff. And now all the ultimate despair. I'll <laughs> we'll be treated like even bigger chump. Chump. You said it again. Just ignore her. As long as we activate the shutdown sequence, it'll be the end of her in this messed up world. Hey, can I ask you something? If we do shut down the program, what will happen to us? No need to worry. We won't let you get hurt. It's not just that. We want a more detailed explanation. If you shut down the Neo World program, everything within the program will be deleted. And they will go back to being the ultimate despairs, won't they? Obviously delete Alter Ego Junko along with your avatars here. So you're saying we're going to be deleted too? It doesn't mean you'll be deleted. The program will just finish without completing the graduation program. What does that mean for us? Your avatars will not upload, so you will revert to your original state before you entered the program. Is there a reason to tell them all that? They have to know everything, or else they won't agree to do it. Hold on a second. If we go back to our original selves before we enter the program. Revert to the ultimate despairs. I see. Does that mean we'll go back to being ultimate despair? 
That's right. Back to being hopelessly controlled by me. When you used to feel despair upon despair. <gasps> no! Hey, are you fucking serious? Can't you do anything about it? I understand your concern. But this is the only way to stop Junko. It might be a painful decision. But I know you guys will be able to overcome it. That's why, in order to defeat despair, I want you guys to fight alongside us. We still have to fight? I... I thought we finally reached the end! Don't worry. Once you get out, we will do our best to support you. But I thought the Future Foundation wanted to kill every last ultimate despair. For this reason, the remnants of despair must be immediately eliminated once they are discovered. When you say support, do you mean I'll make sure you don't suffer when I kill you, or...? Of course not. We would never allow that to happen. It's gonna be alright. The real bodies have just been brainwashed. That's why I'm pretty sure you'll quickly revert back to the state you're in right now. Can you stop saying cheesy stuff like brainwashed? Washing your brain is like really nasty. But, but still, even if our brainwashing is undone, the memories we've made up till now will be erased, right? Does that mean we'll completely forget everything we did on this island? I don't want that. It doesn't matter what you want. That's the reality. Every meaningless thing that happened here will vanish from your minds. Memory's not all that'll go back to normal. If you've lost a limb, like Nagito, it'll still be gone when... <gasps> Please stop! Going back to reality in that condition, that's like a bad joke. We're not joking. That is your past. Nobody can escape their past. We, we don't know anything about that past! Hey, why... Why did we become ultimate despair in the first place? I asked the same thing in the real world, but nobody would give me an answer. It seems my teachings were quite thorough. However, if you ask me... People who cling to stuff like hope, talent, or admiration are truly the weakest. Huh? Guys who desperately want to reach the top. They don't think about what'll happen when they're pushed off. They're probably too concerned with having a really nice view while they condescend to others. <laughs> Shoving off guys like that is so easy. <laughs> I happen to know 17,082 ways to do that. The point is, the moment you cling to talent and hope, despair has already set in. That's not even an explanation. Then, what if you think about it like this? It turns out that you guys being ultimate despair was just part of the game world. And in truth, those guys from the Future Foundation might be part of the game world, too. They're simply side characters of the game world whose role is to offer hopeless hope to you guys. Well, after saying all that, I don't even know what's real and what's a game anymore. Are you kidding around? Enough. My patience is wearing thin. Let's hurry and start the shutdown sequence already. Before you do that, we got to do some reviewing. When you guys activate the shutdown, you'll revert back to when you were known as Ultimate Despair, and your dead friends will never be revived. And the embodiment of despair, aka me, will be erased, thereby preserving hope in the real world. Now then, will the hope of the Future Foundation win, or will my despair win? Alright! Things are starting to heat up! This isn't a game, you know. Au contraire, this is a game. The game of hope and despair that started with your killing school life. 
That explains why these chumps who weren't around last time have been reduced to mere side characters. You called us chumps again! Only because it's true! Most importantly, the killing school trip wasn't just for your sake. There was a more important goal there. The goal of luring a specific group of people. The Future Foundation. Ah, since now's a great time, why don't we make that the question? Question? As long as we're in the game world, the rules say I gotta ask questions every now and then. So, question! Who did I lure and how did I do it? The hint is, I get bored easily, so the same outcome as the killing school life would be a pain in the ass. Okie dokie, let's all think about it together. Okay, logic dive then. Like I was gonna make that then. No. Oh, come on! I pressed the circle to slow down. Let's try go this way. Whatever! This is pissing me off now. Well, I made it that time. Question one, who did Junko Enoshima want to lure? The Future Foundation. Question two, what bait was used to lure the future foundations? The killings? Question three, what did Junker use to force them to watch the killings? Surveillance cameras.
Oh, right, okay. I went down the wrong one. Spelling error. That was nasty. Didn't notice that spelling error then. Sneaky, sneaky. It's all coming together. I got it. You use the surveillance cameras. You were trying to lure the future foundation by showing them the footage you were recording, weren't you? The surveillance cameras? That's what they were being used for? In the previous killing school life, the surveillance camera footage was broadcast outside of the school. You used the cameras that were placed throughout the entire island for the same purpose. Ding, ding, ding! I was broadcasting the Killing School trip live to every member of the Future Foundation. The, the footage you recorded with the surveillance cameras was shown to the Future Foundation? What shall I do? I did a lot of disgraceful things in front of those cameras. <laughs> that just sounds really wrong, you Sonya. Sure did. I will never be queen now. Please forget what you saw. So you guys were watching us? Then why didn't you come rescue us earlier? We tried to hack in many times, but the virus within the program blocked us at every turn. Not only that, the Neo World program stopped accepting shutdown commands from the outside. As a last resort, we considered cutting power to the program, but... We didn't know what would happen to the subjects if we cut the power while the program was still running. There's no way we'd jeopardize your safety by taking such a gamble. Even so, we kept trying over and over again until it was finally possible for us to enter the program just a short time ago. And you came all the way here when you knew it was a trap. I get it. You couldn't just leave them alone. If you saw people dying one by one with your own eyes by the same killing game you guys played, Hope dictates that you act all high and mighty and say, Oh, I'm definitely gonna stop at this time, right? Hey, don't tell me that's the reason you made us go through all this. Of course we made you do it for that reason. We orchestrated this game instead of killing you outright, solely to show it off to the Future Foundation. We were forced to solve puzzles and riddles just so you could show it off to the Future Foundation? That's why you guys are chumps. You're just the bait I use to catch a big fish called the Future Foundation. But it's not my fault, you know. This game is a fight between the Future Foundation and me. You guys were just instigators in the background. <laughs> but you guys already knew that when you chose to play this game, right? Just one second, please! That sounds as though we... As though we wanted to come to this world of our own free will. <laughs> That's precisely the truth. <laughs> You guys chose to be instigators, and you were willingly taken into the Neo World program. To provide the opportunity I needed to push this battle between hope and despair into overtime. Oh my god! That's right. The reason the ultimate despairs began killing each other was set up by the group itself. That's just your imagination. Oh, uh, naive Makoto totally fell for the trap. Oh, and now your face is filled with a lovely shade of despair! Whoa, that despair is fucking obvious! You're here to rescue the assholes who set this up in the first place! Don't go blaming us for this! Thank you! It's all thanks to you guys! This time around, I might be able to fill these guys with despair! We do not feel despair. Even if this was all a trap, we will never regret coming here. You tell her, Kyoko. And this is the only thing we could do to stop you. But nevertheless, it's all over. We will shut you down and end all of this. You're pretty fucking desperate. Oh, that's pretty fucking obvious. If you don't initiate the shutdown, those future Foundation fuckwits are gonna be trapped here forever. Trapped? Why would that happen? <laughs> Didn't I already explain it? You know, the graduation exam rule? The teacher's decision? But that's not all, right? In order to pass the graduation 
exam, there was one more requirement. I see. As I recall, we also need the teacher's final decision. the shutdown sequence doesn't activate, right? But that's impossible. Everyone here understands how dangerous it is to release you into the real world. We know that. All too well. I mean, she's been bad-mouthing us this whole time. Oh. Looks like you shouldn't have talked so much. Out of the mouth comes evil, so they say. Haha, <laughs> nice Kyoko. It's true that we fell for this trap, and that we run the risk of not being able to go back. But what's wrong with that? Thinking we'd back down because of something like that is a huge mistake. That's my line. Thinking your little shutdown plan will succeed is a huge mistake. Huh? You're totally overestimating those jumps over there. There's no way they'll start the shutdown sequence. Why not? Look upon their faces. They look like piglets who were forced to watch their mom roasting on a spit. There's no fucking way they'll initiate the shutdown just to go back to being ultimate despair. That is... Well... Junko, I don't care what you say. I've decided to believe in everyone. It's true that they walked the wrong path before, but that's all in the past now. What I believe in is not their past, but their futures. Yeah, I feel like high five in the screen right now. the one who's gonna make you fall into despair that's the mastermind's job and they'll be appearing very soon mastermind mastermind someone else is coming that can't be it's just a bluff you should never make the last character who appears in a detective story turn out to be the mastermind but i always fall into that pattern so i was kind of worried about that enough already what are you talking about? Oh well. Let's bring him out with lots of energy. It's Mr. Izuru Kamakura! Well guys, now seems like a good time to stop this episode. Bit of a cliffhanger, but it's gone on for quite a long time. So yes, don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and share the video guys. And remember, all types of engagement help me out as a YouTuber. And as always, thank you for watching.